police officer commits horrendous crimes and then turns the gun on herself. All right, let's put the picture up. This is a really difficult story. You're looking at officer Tiffany Gatson, 29 years of age. She was off duty when she shot two women. This happened in Rochester, New York. Killing one, she then turned the gun on herself, took her own life after doing this. Gatson was an officer with the Greece Police Department and has been the first black woman to join the department since September 2018. Greece is a suburb of Rochester. Gatson was found with a self inflicted gunshot wound. She was taken to the hospital where she was pronounced dead shortly afterward. Officers found a Smith & Wesson 9mm handgun at the scene, which they determined was not Gatson's service weapon, the AG's office said. For the details of the incident, Rochester police said in a statement that they responded to a domestic related altercation around 7.20 PM. Responding officers found all three women outside the home with gunshot wounds, according to the state attorney general's office, which is investigating as required by law when an officer commits a crime. All right, let's go to um, the home where this happened. Angeli Solis, 27, was pronounced dead at the scene right there um, after the mother of two was found on the front yard of her own home. The heartbroken neighbors told WHAM ABC 13 that Solis begged for her life after already being shot once by Officer Gatson. She even begged one neighbor to get her two young sons who were inside the home, but Officer Gatson allegedly warned the neighbor to stay out of it. The other victim, a woman in her 30s who suffered a non life threatening injury from multiple gunshot wounds to her upper body was sent to a hospital. She was not publicly identified, but the two victims are related. Police would not clarify the relationship. Uh, Let's go to the Greece Police Department. Let's go to the leadership there. This is Police Chief Michael Wood, he issued a statement. They read in part, unfortunately, we have seen events of this nature occur all too frequently and struggle to find answers in the aftermath. The effects are far reaching. When when a police officer commits such a horrible act to our entire community. Again, the New York Attorney General's office, they are leading the investigation. So let me say this, on the show, really just what a couple of weeks ago, we had the former mayor of Ithaca, New York. He talked about a program he implemented in Ithaca, New York, that basically resolved all of his use of force complaints, his police aggression complaints, etc. What did he do? Something really simple. In the front end of the vetting process, not only did the cop have to pass the psychological evaluation, they also had to pass a lot of detective tests that worked in unison with the psychological eval. What was the result of this young mayor implementing that strategy or that protocol? The result was 0% of all of the police officers who passed, 0% gave them any issue with community and council, none. He said that on the show. He also said that 75% of those who qualified to be cops because of basic training standards and boot camp, etc., did not qualify once they took the psychological evaluation and the lie detector test. If we are to take that sample of what Ithaca, New York did, that means that roughly 75% of cops who apply for the job should not have it based on their data. All right, very sad. Hearts and prayers, obviously, with those who survived, um, the family, the children. It's horrendous. Sharon, thoughts here. If a young mayor that you just related um, can, can do a new approach. I don't know why we can't just adopt that. You know, yeah. we've seen police training, Dr. Ritchie, where they have to be tased during the training just so they know what it feels like. This 
is the same. You know, why can't they get this psychological workup so that we can understand that they really want to be police officers for the right reasons mm -hmm. and not like what we saw in South Georgia and not like that hearts, prayers, as you said, here. Yeah. With the Department. Absolutely. All right.